good afternoon. Today is Friday, April 14th, 2023. It is 1230 p.m. here in Cleveland, Ohio. It's 75 degrees. Right now we are at University Circle. So you can see the trees here aren't all quite grown in. You know, they're starting to bloom. But those are just like the regular trees. Our goal is to head over to Wade Lagoon where the cherry blossom should be about in full effect. The Wade Lagoon area is going to be just over like in that area. But instead of starting there for the video, I wanted to give like at least a little bit of perspective of like that we were in, you know, University Circle area on the east side of Cleveland. I'll go ahead and pause the video until the light changes here. I like how they have the median here in between the street. Whoa. <laughs> Looks like they're throwing the uh, fertilizer over there. I was going to cross at the intersection. I guess I better choose a different one. Is that, I've never seen how they do that. Oh, they throw the fertilizer and then rake it afterward. They're like throwing it all over the sidewalk right now. All right, well, we will take a slightly different path, I guess. Yeah, they must have already done it in this area. I'm sure they're not finished because it's kind of looks like it's in progress. Well, that was Euclid Avenue, by the way, with the median where we started the stream. Now we're approaching Chester. See, I'm very familiar with Chester in the actual downtown Cleveland portion, but in my mind, since I don't come to the east side so often, I don't think of, like I didn't even know Chester extended all the way out this way. You can already get a glimpse. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna walk over here and then there's a stair set that's gonna take you like straight down the middle and you'll be right in the center. And that's like the perfect shot, but then we'll walk around the entire area. Yeah, see that over there is where I was going to cross initially, but they were throw, throwing that fertilizer everywhere. That would have been a little bit shorter just to cut across and get over here. Here's that beautiful money shot right here. I came on my lunch break to film this 
and take some pictures. So this is like one of my favorite things to uh, prepare for and see the beautiful cherry blossoms. But so I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple pictures and then I'll continue the video tour. All right, let's go ahead and do a nice little walk around. Last year I did a live stream in the evening time when the cherry blossoms were at their peak. But this year I wanted to do a pre-recorded video to capture high quality. You can see the fish in there too. Oh, look, there's even a turtle in there. <laughs> I don't know if I'm pointed at it or if you can see it on the camera. That's the Cleveland Art Museum for those who aren't familiar with it. Most of the fish are red, but I see like one orange one. And then over there, there's like a couple more orange ones. And that's where we started up there. Excuse me, are you Jeff? Yes. Oh, I'm the guy who goes under Poco Traveler. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> good good that I did catch you today. Is that the same one you were doing yesterday? Or no, a different one? Oh, nice. Yeah, nice meeting you. <laughs> Yeah, it's gotten a little quirky and I don't know, they're always changing stuff. I'm like, what the heck did they change that for? But I still like following for the people I follow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that guy's name is Jeff Santula, I think. But I follow him on Twitter and Instagram. And he po he goes around and like paints non-stop like watercolor 
paintings of Cleveland area. So yesterday I saw you tweeted that he was doing a painting here and I tweeted at him saying like, oh, uh, like, oh, I missed you by a day. And he's like, oh, I may come back you know, tomorrow, which would be today. So that was cool to see him do that. Yeah, so if you, I'll try to include a link to his Twitter account in the description of this video because you'll be able to see that uh, painting that he was doing. I didn't, the reason I wasn't saying anything at first because, you know, I don't want to interrupt him when he's like in the middle of painting. I'm sure he wouldn't be distracted by it because he's a pro. But I was waiting for him to like pause for a second. Plus someone else was taking pictures of him. Yeah, but this area of Cleveland is always beautiful this time of year because you've got the the water, the sun reflecting off of it, the cherry blossoms, pink and white colors mixed in. We've been really fortunate too with this particular week in April. I mean, it's only mid-April and temperatures all week have been in the mid 70s. So not too hot and not cold. So some of these trees will probably still grow in a little more, but this is probably as close to peak bloom as you'll get or early next week. And I was hesitant of doing a video next week because I could see, by the way, it says, do not feed the geese. <laughs> the one geese is like guarding over everything. Yeah, but I was hesitant to do a video next week. Oh, there's two mallards. I was hesitant to do a video next week because I could see rain in the forecast for the weekend. That's why I was worried about rain and wind like blowing all these leaves down. Even though there aren't as many cherry blossoms over here by the art museum, let's still take a walk over there. If any of you watched my video last year when it was the chalk festival, I came here in the early morning to show off some of the chalk. Some of it had washed away because of rain, but those, all those chalk paintings were done like all on these sidewalks and up here. That should be an annual event. I forgot what month it takes place in though. I won't go too far or too much further. You can see like there's a couple of trees over there. And then if you go behind the art museum, you can keep walking and check out all the other museums and university circle. I think I did that last year on the live stream. 
but this video for this year's I want to keep more focused on just the cherry blossoms at Wade Lagoon otherwise it would be like repeating the same exact thing as last year that chalk festival I was talking about again they had them all over here too and around the edge so that's a cool event to check out here you can feel the temperatures getting even warmer so I think when I started the stream I said 74 degrees now it shows not only shows 75 like one degree cooler but there that sun is baking and there's virtually no wind what do I hear in the bushes is it a squirrel or a rabbit <laughs> it stopped <laughs> whatever it was it stopped Oh, it's a squirrel. I could see its tail. Let's go ahead and finish the walk around. Anyway, he's the guy. Yeah, see, like I said, all the trees aren't quite grown in because this one here, you see a few blooming. Unless the tree's dying, but I don't know. Can't imagine it being dead. see what one of these benches are like this one's not in the shade like the one over there was most of the people sitting are like trying to sit in the shade you don't have the fish over here or turtles but it's still nice to see like the water swaying
You have the thickest trees with the white and pink colors or near the front here like they're camped under. Alright, if you enjoyed this little peaceful walk through Wade Lagoon with the cherry blossoms in April 2023, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you next time.